people may think because Madeira is this tiny island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean that there's not much to do here. But you couldn't be more wrong because we have so much to offer here, what you can do, see and experience. Three and a half hours out of leaving London, you'll arrive to Madeira. Madeira is in the same latitude as Casablanca in the north of Africa. So we're further south from mainland Portugal and the subtropical environment allows you to enjoy the uh, lush green environment without excessive heat. Madeira is an outdoor paradise for the entire year because here we have this mild subtropical weather where you can get temperatures between 17 and 25 degrees all year round. The first thing that strikes most visitors when they come to Madeira is that it's a volcanic island. So the scenery is very drastic. You very quickly go from sea level to 1,800 meters. Over the years I've had many, many different people sort of come and visit me in Madeira. And some people have described the scenery as similar to Bali. Many people have said it's like Hawaii. But uh, two people very rarely say the same thing. The nature and landscape I've always found incredibly dramatic. Um, when I'm out at sea, I've often described it as a geologist's dream. You can see the most amazing terraces sort of cut in the most extraordinary places. You wonder how on earth people manage to do that. One of Madeira's advantages is that two-thirds of the island are a UNESCO protected in uh, laurel forest. The laurel forest is one of the oldest with about 40 million years. The people in Madeira always give you a smile, always very nice for you. And you know, this is an island, it's always in parties, because you have Christmas, then you have Carnival, then you have Flower Festival, and then comes all the little parties around the island in the countryside, and people can go and have the boldo caco, it's a bread, and the ishpetada, it's like a kebab. One of the major changes I think in Madeira has been the opening of some very, very good new hotels and some excellent international standard restaurants. This has meant that we've seen a, a new breed of, of tourist, if you like, come to the island, someone who, who wants everything that Madeira traditionally offers, but at the same time, there is a cutting edge feel to the place. Younger travelers are often surprised about how much there is actually on offer to do in Madeira, be it exhibitions, be it um, the electronic music festivals, be it the nightlife. Madeira just stay up and party until 8 o'clock in the morning. You just have to join us. You can also relax just by taking a cocktail by the harbour and looking at the sunset. The activity is on offer for families when they come to Madeira. Um, we have the most wonderful dolphin watching, whale watching, with, uh, the walking. What's become very popular now is actually mountain biking. Porto Santo is a cousin of Madeira Island. It's a small island that belongs to Madeira with stunning views, mountain and this beautiful golden beach. This is a nice nine kilometer beach we have. So if you stay in Madeira, you can come here for one day, 15 minutes away from uh, the airplane and by boat, two hours, you know. Madeira is really for people who really enjoy life. I think it's the right place, doesn't mind if you're young or old. Madeira is really like a pearl, it's fantastic.